I knew when I came here, I, I didn't want to go anywhere else. When I came to this course, I, I set up from my college that I, I said that all I wanted to do really was go to Brighton. So um, once I got here, I, I, I sort of have been slightly guilty of, um, of being, uh, what's the word, sort of very like sort of single-minded. And, and when I came here, that's all I kind of wanted to do was like, right, I'm here to be an illustrator. And what Bryson did to sort of teach me was, um, when I first came in, I, I was doing a very sort of set style of work and this is how I was going to do it. And they taught me to, no, have more fun with this. You're doing, you're trying too hard to do one specific thing. It's a three year course. After this, you're going to have to, you, you know, you are going to have to concentrate and focus and because you're going to have to try and earn money off of it essentially and have a living. Whereas these three years, you don't have to worry about that. Have fun, uh, like kind of realise what it is that you're good at and, and what you like. And um, when I started the course, I had a set style that I thought this is what I'm going to do. And when I left, it was totally different. I was doing, um, like I was doing pencil sketches and like really detailed kind of almost photorealistic pencil drawings. And when I left, it was characters with googly eyes. So it's like a very vast change over that, over that time. And I think that's probably the thing that Brighton, uh, you know, specifically the illustration and graphic design course really taught me. I used to do printouts to like, um, I would make a poster with all my work on and a CV on the back and then I would I would send that out to art directors or um, I also advertised it as free as well so if anyone wanted it from my website they could they could just ask for it, send me their address and I would send them this in the post and I would sort of use the money from the work at the weekends to put towards like print cost postage etc um, and it was just I was just determined at that point to try and get it uh, you know, get into into having a career as an illustrator um, and so yeah um, first sort of si first sort of five four or five months I was doing that and I was just some days sat at my desk not really doing anything but I was working and trying to create work even though it wasn't for pay or um, it was just to keep myself busy and keep posting new stuff up online and then yes yeah, slowly things people started to recognize the work through sort of social channels and then through this poster that I was advertising and then slowly the the addresses I was being sent were from like-minded people like graduates or, or people anyone wants something for free but then I noticed the signatures on some of those emails were like Nike and uh, advertising agents like Wyden and Kennedy and, and were interested in the poster and then that led into an internship at an illustration agency and then sort of we're now talking sort of eight months after that was they offered to represent me there so then that kind of really got the ball rolling and and, and it kind of that was when I was sort of a year a year after university is when it really started to pick up and I was able to use illustration to support myself um, like solely as my my one line of work basically. Each job's kind of different. So um, there was a job I did for McDonald's Japan, which was great. That that they were fantastic um, design agency to work. Well, the design agency the design agency are uh, called TD, TBWA and they were fantastic to work with. They essentially saw what I did, knew that my work worked in that way, like in the colours that I used and the characters that I used. So when they commissioned me for the McDonald's job, I was kind of concerned that they were going to really imprint like, oh, you have to use McDonald's red or you have to use McDonald's yellow. I tend to use softer colours than that. Um, but when I sent over my sort of colour version of the artwork, they're like, yeah great, this is fine. And then I said, oh, is it okay if I change the M that was at the bottom to be a lighter yellow that matched my colours? And they were, they were, yeah, really happy for me to do that, which is great. And that's always a nice, those jobs are the ones that go front and centre in my portfolio because they're the ones I think work best. And it's nice when you get that trust from a client. Sometimes it doesn't always go that way. And I, I don't want to name names on that, but there's been some jobs where that hasn't happened. Um, you kind of have to look at each each case scenario and work out what works for you for in, on this particular job that didn't go so well um, it paid well so that had to be come into consideration and I was you know starting out this was about two three years in I was like okay this is paying well enough for me to spend two months working on that um, then I can put back into like my own practice and kind of take the experience from that which I did learn a lot about on that but kind of have to take each job as it comes I would suppose.